Hi guys, it's your boy Will here. If you've been following me on Facebook, you probably knew that I broke my camera and lost my tripod in Morocco. So today I'll be doing a quick unboxing of both. So let's start with tripod. So what I have here is a Manfredo B3 Live tripod and it's made in Italy. Fancy. Uh, so basically it's a travel tripod with fluid head because I'll be making more and more videos. So this tripod is perfect for, uh, for me. Okay, so here are the specs. When it's fully extended, it's 151 centimeters. It's a little bit short, but for a travel tripod, it's alright. And when it's folded, it's 40 centimeters, which is quite good um, for a travel tripod. And the tripod itself weighs 1.8 kilograms. Not sure if the fluid head is included in this uh, number. And it can bear 4 kilograms of weight, and it's made of aluminium. Okay, so it comes with this um, good-looking travel case, so it's easier for, uh, for people who doesn't have something to strap their tripod onto their uh, camera bags. And I think it has a little bit of padding inside. It feels like it's... Um, yeah, I think it's padded. Okay, so this is what's inside that travel bag. So this is the quick re uh, releasing plate and that's the tripod itself and here we can see the fluid head itself uh, hiding under this leg one second there we go yeah so it's quite compact as you can see and it's pretty well made I can feel it's quite sturdy it's a bit heavier than my uh, previous tripod and okay you can see the hook that's used to uh, put extra weight under the tripod to make it more sturdy and yeah living it so far so you can uh, extend the length of the legs by open up these uh, latches and you can um, separate the legs further apart by uh, opening up this sort of locking mechanism here yeah so yeah, quite like it. And let's move on to the fluid head. I never used a fluid head before, but it feels quite smooth. I feel like you can pen and tilt uh, your camera quite smoothly with this. So yeah, I have to read the manual on this, on how to work with a fluid head, but uh, I don't think it's too complicated. Let's look at the design itself. Yeah, simple and elegant, quite nice. All right, now let's move on to the camera. And spoiler alert, it's not a DA50. Right, so what do we have here? We've got a uh, spare battery, a uh, lens pen, a uh, shutter release and uh, HDMI cable okay and voila there you have it it's a D750 what else in there all right I still have a uh, 64 gig memory card from SanDisk right so it's just a regular D750 and even though it has the sticker on it but it's not the 100th anniversary version it's just a regular one all right let's open this up okay let's do this okay so user manual somehow it's already crisp warranty car yada 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 get rid of that and I think these are uh, what cable cable uh, I think that's battery charger yes it is oopsie daisy and that's what eyepiece and what is it cable and another battery and the D750 strap and the camera itself 
Ta-da! So this is my new D750 and let's have a comparison with my old D610 to see the, uh, the differences. Okay, so I have the D750 on the right, so you can see the D750 actually has a smaller LCD screen and it's missing the plastic heart shoe cover, which I don't know why. And the grip is much thinner and deeper, which is easier to grip because they move the battery from the grip to into the body. And the back has slightly different layout as well. So, um, all right. So as you can see, uh, they put a information button here, which the uh, D610 doesn't have, and they move the information button from here to here. And the rest are pretty pretty much the same. And on the left, the ports also has a slightly different layout. Uh, for example, the cable release port was switched from here to here. So that's basically my quick unboxing of my newly purchased D750. And I guess some of you may ask why I opt for D750 instead of the DA50. Because uh, in D750's range, it's still the latest camera and I can't wait for the next model to come out, although I think D750 is already two years old. But I need a camera to replace my broken D610 immediately. I just can't wait that long for the next model to be released. Plus the DA50 is a little bit too powerful for my need. So so I didn't go for it and plus it's gonna take a little bit more time to get my hands on a, uh, a new DA50. So that's why I opt for the D750. So yeah, I hope you enjoy my quick unboxing of my uh, tripod and camera. So if you have any question or uh, suggestion, please leave it in the comment. And uh, yeah, I, I would really, I really like to know what I should do with my old D610. So apparently, it it has a um, not functioning shutter anymore, and it has some scratches on the sensor. So yeah, let me know what you think, and let me know. If I should get a, a backup camera, or if I do, should I get a, a compact camera or another or smaller DSLR? So yeah, let me know what you think. I'll see you next time.